Hello everyone, welcome back and uh, this is a field test update on the uh, 12 inch double bevel sliding compound miter saw here and uh, got out here on a somewhat mobile bench here and uh, this is kind of what I've been doing with it um, at least uh, for the trim work uh, let's take a look here oh goodness so I cut this to size and basically here uh, here you go that's kind of what I'm doing with it sorry the contrast is so different here but basically I just took it and I measured it and so I know I got the right size here by because I cut it here now I want to miter this thing here uh, excuse me I want to miter this thing so I got the right size from here, uh, I'll just go ahead and just bevel it because what I want to do from here is uh, miter it this way and on this side here, miter it this way. <sighs> and I'm telling you, without the bevel, um, without the double bevel, this would be uh, a lot harder. I guess it wouldn't be that hard, but uh, this makes it so much easier. So, Right here, I got my 90 degree cut in of the size. Now I just have to basically cut it. That is all I have to do. And so, and let me see how I can do that without uh, letting go of the camera. So, I guess I'll use this here if I can, if it works. Right there is fine. If it keeps moving on me, I can't use it. So. Oh well, maybe I'll strap you to my chest. Uh, okay. Battery's getting a little low, but oh well. I haven't done this in a while, but I guess I need to for this particular application. All right, I don't know how you, you can see that, if it's too dark or not, but... Uh, okay, so you got to watch your fingers because you're beveling. Hopefully you can see that. We'll see if you can or not, but... this down and this is where it comes really handy just just be able to bevel off of each side here hopefully you'll see that watch your fingers make sure you don't cut your fingers make sure you go all the way up to it and just make sure okay Hopefully you had a chance to see that. Um, I had you strapped to my chest, uh, so it's been a while. Anyways, uh, let me go ahead and nail this in, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, uh, here it is, uh, mitered. So that's how it looks, right there and there. So this is the field test update on the 12-inch uh, double bevel. Miter saw, and I have to tell you that uh, if it wasn't for the for the beveling here, uh, it might have. I still could have gotten done, but just uh, would have taken a little bit longer. Just makes it so easy that you just cut it to size, whatever you need, and then you can just uh, you know cut it right through here in a bevel. Basically, you're mitering it for the most part right here as well, and then I got to you know basically uh, put it up so. Anyway, that was fun. Uh, a lot of things I, other things I use, compressor, the uh, braid nailer. This is still going. 
had to use two different size. Uh, I had to use one of the 5 8 and a, and a 2 inch. And the 5 8 is because, you know, you, my neck hurts because I just have to keep looking up like this. But there, I had to put in this little piece right here to cover it. So it kind of looks like it's connected one piece, but it's only eight pieces, uh, eight foot long on a ten foot long, you know, stretch. So it's kind of hard. So just try to make it look decent anyway. Did the same everywhere else. And then on the bottom here. So if you've seen it before, I think on my previous episode on, uh, let me see here on the two-in-one cargo uh, bar support these as you notice I got two of these uh, left one in the trailer so when I came here uh, these are so handy I had to get another one so I got two one for trailer one for truck and then also one to support you know lift this up I'll put a link on there and show you how that was used uh, clamps a lot of clamps being used here um, clamps were used, uh, yeah, so like this to make a straight cut here on my, on the circular saw. So, uh, wow, all this stuff is still working and going. So, anyways, this concludes this episode here on the, uh, update. I still haven't put a switch on the laser yet, which if you've seen that episode, uh, I'll put a link on that episode. Someone made a response to uh, how to adjust the uh, laser, which was uh, the laser's, uh, sorry if it's, there we go. The laser's right here, sorry for the contrast here. But uh, someone uh, made a switch right here somewhere, allowing the laser to be turned on. I think I'm gonna, I might do that in the future, put a switch on, but I'll put a link on there. If you're all wondering how to have a little manual switch to uh, turn on and off the laser, um, because I did an episode on how to adjust the laser to have it cut to one edge of the blade or the other, depending on your situation, and someone saw that and did a video uh, video response. So feel free to comment, like, dislike, even do a video response. Um, also uh, follow the link to my Google Drive under uh, descriptions. Just go click on show more and then the rest of it will pop up. It'll say follow this link to my Google Drive and, and there's a link there. And you should have all these coupons here. I think one of them is is for the miter saw. There's a lot of them. There's compressor. Um, you know, just go check it out. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Bye now.